Hello again from Arches National Park here in Moab. Today, part two of my uh, hike and day in the park. We're going to be hiking Delicate Arch for a full trail guide of Delicate Arch. You can check the link in the description below. So some cool history here. Uh, Wolf Ranch, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, basically, this dude who fought in the uh, Civil War moved out here, opened this ranch. His daughter moved in and was like, this place sucks and made him build a new cabin. So crazy. Uh, you see these every once in a while in national parks. I think Capitol Reef have a similar story where these people just move out here uh, like 100 years ago and, you know, set up a cabin. Here's a look at the outside of it. Got the, uh, looks like a root cellar over here. And uh, look in, which you can't really see. Oh, actually not bad. So yeah, just single room cabin. Let's talk about the delicate arch hike here. It's probably the most popular one in uh, Arches National Park because it's an arch, because it's three miles, because it's super accessible. Uh, it's basically a mile and a half of straight up hiking and then a mile and a half of straight down hiking. So gain about 470 feet of elevation. This trail is super well established, super well marked. So uh, it should be doable for, for pretty much anybody. Good look at the trail here. So you're gonna go here and then up that ramp. They're kids and they don't know any better, but they're exactly what they're doing right now is what you're not supposed to do. The reason why staying on the trail is so important is because in the desert, there is really, really fragile life basically. And you stepping on something could literally take away hundreds of years of growth in two seconds. More so in the desert national parks. Obviously when you're in the woods, it's a bit different, but it's just super important to stay on the trail here and make sure that you leave no trace, pick up after yourself, etc. And again, it's not those kids fault. We were all young. That relies on whoever's supposed to be watching them to teach them to do better in the future. Be careful if it's wet or snowy or anything like that, but otherwise you should be good to go. I would just recommend some kind of shoe with good grip, especially on the way down, maybe hiking poles. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward path, just straight up to the top. Once you get up to the first uh, kind of shelf, if you will, you're gonna take a left. There's signs, but maybe some of you will miss them. I think the day that a big group of hikers has self-awareness on any trail, I'll be able to retire. I'll hit the lottery that day. This part of the trail here, they talk about being icy and like exposed. I mean, they clearly have made a ramp, so it's not super exposed, but if it was icy, definitely be careful here. I mean, this is easily four or five feet wide, so it's nothing crazy. Arch is right up ahead, but we're getting there, I just want to show you some more, There's some windows and arches down in there to the left. Really cool. To uh, Delicate Arch now, see it right behind me. I'll show you some other views here. Uh, overall, I'd say the hike to the arch, very, very pedestrian, but the views from up here are uh, pretty sick. But um, yeah, definitely worth checking out, hanging out taking some pictures, there's a pretty lengthy line. It stinks, actually, the best views, in my opinion, of the arch are over to the right when you get up here, because you can get the La Salle Mountains in the background. Uh, when you take your picture underneath the arch, like a lot of people are lined up behind me to do, um, obviously you're under it, but you don't get that mountain view unless you're really good at angle. A little over a mile and a half to get up here, and uh, yeah, super easy, straightforward hike 
So I'm uh, gonna soak in the views a bit more and then head back to the car. And I'll show you the petroglyphs on the way out. Back to the parking lot pretty much, just right over that way. Uh, I'm gonna check out the petroglyphs here. There's a sign when you first walk in and there's a pretty well-established social trail to get you there on the way out. Overall, I would say the Cassidy Arch, the views on the top were a 20. I mean, fantastic. If you can get some space to yourself and just kind of soak it in up there, I mean, I didn't show you much of this because I never do in my videos, but it's very crowded here. Uh, I'll show some B-roll of like the way up for a lot of people, but um, you know, just like any national park, you can kind of carve your space out. And uh, again, the hike to it, monotonous, but once you're up there, um, yeah, stunning, stunning views. So yeah, I'll show you the petroglyphs here in a sec and then uh, give you some final stats and wrap up uh, this Cassidy arch hike guide here's the uh petroglyphs it's a uh, ute rock art sometime between 1650 and 1850 man if i had that kind of uh wiggle room at my job with logistics and data be a much easier place to live but really cool stuff and as always don't touch them or make your own for christ's sake just leave them and enjoy how really cool they are so there you have it the uh cassidy arch hike here in arches national park without a doubt the most popular one here and obviously the payoff very well worth it if you're new to my channel check out all my other utah stuff i have tons of utah state park videos a whole section of my website dedicated to hikes here i am based in colorado but have hikes all over the country so hit the subscribe button give this video a like if you found it at all helpful if you want to support the channel buy some merch donate whatever you can check out the links in the description below as always there is a full hike guide on this site Cassidy Arch here in Arches National Park in Moab Utah in the description below this is part two of a video uh, Devil's Garden was in the mornings and my legs are pretty tired after a 15 mile run yesterday so gonna wrap up this video here and my time in Arches National Park this time around thank you very much for watching as always and we'll see you on the next adventure.